So this is our second annual Crab Fest, and it's been an uh, overwhelming response and, and very positive, and we've added a second weekend to accommodate the demand. And I think what people enjoy about the Crab Fest is that it's all-you-can-eat Dungeons Crab right from um, the coast, aiolis and the compliments. We have some coleslaw, potato salad, cornbread. We, we had a seafood chowder. They just pile on as much crab and, and, and compliments and salads as they want and uh, enjoy it. We provide bibs and crackers and uh, it's, it's a very festive environment. People enjoy it because it's, it's not really uh, hoity-toity. They can really have a great time. We have some music in the background and just people really enjoy their time. And the rich crab goes really well with the King State Pinot Gris. It's a perfect combination and complement for the crab. And um, it's been very successful. I mean, it's, uh, the, the community really waits and, and anticipates when we, we will have and host that crab fest because it's, it's been very, very popular. Everyone come to this crab fest. I mean, everyone from our tower members, uh, the, the local community. It seems to resonate with everyone because uh, the crab season starts in December, and people are very excited and very uh, anticipating when that uh, crabs are going to uh, come. And also, one of the highlights that people really are attracted to at the crab fest is the desserts that my wife Toby produces. I mean, they're very the small, cute, miniature tasty morsels of um, homemade marshmallows or, um, or po uh, pot de cremes or chocolate mousse and just delightful little treats that uh, people really look forward to and it's um, the whole point of the Crab Fest was really just to have fun in the winter months and to really just uh, take advantage of what we, what's available, what's in season and uh, I think we've been very successful with it.